hello guys welcome back to my channel on today's tutorial i will demonstrate how to draft a bolero jacket with a roll color detail hi my name is ayo and welcome to 011 clothing tutorials on this channel i upload diys pattern drafting and sewing tutorials if you haven't subscribed yet kindly do so and do not forget to turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. So now, let's get right into the tutorial. Thank you! I'll be working with the following items. Cello tape. Paper scissors. Rulers and curve. Ideally, a pencil should be used to draft a pattern, but for tutorial purpose, I'll be making use of this black marker pen, pattern paper, calculator, pens, and tape. I'll be working with the following measurements shoulder to shoulder. 16 inches bust circumference 39 inches waist circumference 35 inches shoulder to bust point 10.5 inches shoulder to waistline 18 inches bust pan 8 inches so I have here my pattern paper which I have already laid out on the table. I have already drawn a 2 inch margin at the top and on the left hand side of the pattern paper. I will now go ahead to draft the half scale basic bodies block. I will first of all draw a rectangular box that will contain both the front and the back pattern pieces. I will be drafting them within the same rectangle. To calculate the width of the rectangular box, I will use the formula bus circumference divided by 2 plus 2 inches for ease and this is called 39 over 2 plus 2 and this is called 21.5 inches. So on the upper line, I will go ahead to measure and mark 21.5 inches like this. The length of the rectangular box will be my shoulder to waistline measurement which is 18 inches. I will now measure and mark 18 inches like this starting from the upper line downwards. I will now use these two values the length and the width to form a rectangular box. The length is 18 inches while the width is 21.5 inches. I will now divide the rectangular box into two equal halves like this. This side will be the center back, while this other side will be the center front. I will draw out my horizontal lines, which will be my guide when drafting the pattern. The first thing I will do is to draw the front and back shoulder lines. I will use one inch for the back shoulder line and I will square the line across like this. For the front shoulder line, I will use 1.5 inches. I will measure it downwards like this and I will square out the lines horizontally like this. Next, I will calculate the arm mode depth using the formula bus circumference divided by 6 plus 1.5 and this is equal to 39 over 6 plus 1.5 and this is equal to 8 inches. So from the back shoulder line, I will measure and mark 8 inches downwards like this. I 
I will now square the line across to the center back and to the center front. This line is the armor line, some call it the chest line. My shoulder to bust point measurement is 10.5 inches. So I will measure and mark 10.5 inches from the starting line downwards. I will square the line horizontally across to the center front. Like this. This line is the bust line. For the back neckline, I will use 3 inches width and 1 inch depth. I will now go ahead to draw the back neckline curve using my French curve like this. For the front neckline curve, I will use 3 inches by 3 inches. I will also draw the front neckline curve using my French curve like this. I will now move over to the shoulders. I will divide my shoulder to shoulder measurement by 2 and this is 16 all over 2 and this is equal to 8 inches. So on the back shoulder line, Starting from the center back, I will measure and mark 8 inches like this. Also, on the front shoulder line, starting from the center back, I will measure and mark 8 inches like this. On the ammo line or chest line, I will also measure and mark 8 inches starting from the center back and the center front respectively i will now connect the neck points to the shoulder points for both the front and the back patterns for both the back and the front patterns using my ruler like this I will also connect these two points together for both the back and the front patterns using dashed lines. I will now calculate my bust circumference plus 1 inch for ease divided by 4 and this goes to 39 plus 1 all over 4 and this is equal to 10 inches. So on the ammo line or chest line, starting from the center back and also at the center front, I will go ahead to measure and mark 10 inches like this. On the back pattern, in between these two points, I will go ahead and locate the middle point like this. I will measure and mark half an inch inwards like this. I will now connect this half an inch point to the shoulder point. To the tip of the shoulder like this using my ruler. I will now connect these two points together with my curve. Now we have the ammo curve for the back pattern. On the front pattern, I will go up by 3 inches from the ammo line on the dashed line and I will mark the point. From this point, I will now measure 3 quarter of an inch inwards and I will now connect it to the shoulder tip like this using my ruler. 
I will now connect these two points together using my French curve like this. We now have the ammo curve for the front pattern. I will now move to the waistline. For the waist, I will use the formula waist circumference plus 1 inch for ease divided by 4 plus additional 1 inch for the waist that and this is equal to 35 plus 1 all over 4 plus 1 inch and this is equal to 10 inches. So on the waistline, I will measure and mark 10 inches starting from the center back and the center front respectively. I will connect these two points together for both the back pattern and the front pattern using my ruler. And this will give me the side seams for both the front and the back pattern pieces. I will now go ahead to draw the dart. To do this, I need my boss pan or nipple to nipple measurement. My boss pan measurement is 8 inches. So I will go ahead. And divide this 8 inches the boss pan measurement. I will divide it by 2. And this is equal to 4 inches. So on the front pattern, on the bust line, this is the bust line. I will measure and mark 4 inches starting from the center front. And this point is the bust point. Also at the aim, which is the waistline, I will also measure and mark 4 inches and I will now measure half an inch on both sides of this 4 inch at the aim. I will now connect these two points to the both points like this using my ruler. For the back pattern, on the ammo line, I will measure and mark 4 inches from the center back like this. I will come down by 1 inch and I will mark the 1 inch point. At the end of the pattern, which is the waistline, I will measure and mark 4 inches also. And I will mark half an inch on both sides of this 4 inch point. I will now connect it to the 1 inch that I marked below the the 4 inch that I marked on the ammo line. I now connect these three points together to give me the the, dart, the back darts. So now I'm drawn, I'm done drafting the basic bodies block. I will now go ahead to alter this basic bodies block into a bolero jacket with a roll of short color detail. The first thing I'll do is to locate the middle point between the starting line and the ammo line. Like this. I will now square a line across to the center back and to the center front. Please note that even though the bolero is a small garment, it is still a jacket and it will be worn over another outfit. So we need to make allowance for this, especially around the armhole area. So I will extend the shoulder line by one quarter of an inch for both the back and the front pattern. I will now extend the shoulder tips to meet up with the new points like this. On this middle horizontal line that I drew just now, I will also go ahead to extend the ammo curve by one quarter of an inch 
for both the back and the front patterns like this on the chest or armhole at the base of the armhole curve i will come down by one inch for both the back and the front patterns like this i will now connect these three points together to give me a new armhole curve for my bolero jacket So what we have successfully done is to make the arm more bigger because the bolero jacket will always be worn over another outfit and we need a bigger arm to accommodate to accommodate this extra bulk. So these are the new arm for the back and the front pattern. Now I will decide how long I want the bolero jacket to be. The ideal length for a bolero jacket should be between the under bust and the waistline. It should not be shorter than the under bust line and it should not be longer than the waistline. I will use a length of 15 inches for mine. So I will go ahead to measure and mark 15 inches like this starting from the certain line from the upper line. I will now square a line horizontally across from the center front to the center back. This line is the new aim of the pattern. I will now do the center back tightening. On the new M line at the center back, I will measure and mark half an inch in was like this. I will now connect it to the neck point like this using my ruler. At the side seams on the new M line, I will measure and mark half an inch inwards. I will now connect this to the to the base of the armor curve. I will do this for both the back and the front pattern. Please and please skip this step if your bolero jacket is going to have a button or any fastening at the center front. My bolero jacket will have no, will have no fastening at the center front. That is why I'm doing this. This will make the jacket to be well fitted and it won't just be flapping around the body when it is worn. I will now go ahead to cut out the back pattern like this.
I will close the waist dart for the back pattern using my cello tape like this. So this is the front pattern. I already have extra pattern paper at the top to accommodate the row color detail. So what I will do now is to curve the lower part of the bolero jacket like this from the boss line down to the new aim. I will use my French curve for this. I will now go ahead to draw the crease line for the row collar. Starting from the boss line at the center front. Like this. The slanted crease line will touch the base of the, of the front neckline curve. Like this and I will extend it beyond the shoulders. To construct the row collar, I will make use of the back pattern, which I have already cut out. I will place the back pattern above the front pattern in such a way that the neck points of the two patterns touch, e touch each other. Like this. Also note that the neckline curves and the shoulder lines of both the front and the back patterns are facing opposite direction. Now tilt the back pattern until the back neckline curve is on the crease line like this. I will now pin in place. Note that the front and the back neckline points are still touching each other. I will now go ahead to measure and mark 4 inches for the width of the collar at the upper part like this from the base of the back neckline along the center back line. I will now connect the 4 inch point to the boss line at the center front like this using my French curve. Using my tracing wheel, I will trace out the shape of the row collar on the back pattern to the pattern paper underneath it. I will now make the tracing bows there using my marker pen like this. I will now go ahead to cut out the front pattern piece. So these are the fronts and the back pattern pieces. I will now go ahead to close the waist dart on the front pattern. This is the basic sleeve pattern. I already have a tutorial on this on my channel. The link will be above and in the description box below. So I need to alter the basic sleeve pattern as well. Remember that we lower the ammo curve by 1 inch on the basic bodice pattern. On the sleeve pattern, I will also go ahead to lower the ammo curve by 1 inch also. I will now redraw the lower part of the ammo curve of the sleeve. Like this.
what i'll do now is to go ahead and measure the armhole of both the sleeve and also the bodies and i'll make sure that they are of equal length they are of equal length so i will now go ahead after measurements to trim off the excess paper on the sleeve on the sleeve arm hole like this So these are the pattern pieces needed to make the bolero jacket. So that's it guys, we are done. Stay tuned for my next tutorial where I will be cutting and sewing this bolero jacket on my fabric. If you find this video helpful, do not forget to give it a thumbs up, drop a comment down below, share this video with your friends who are interested in sewing. And do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. See you in my next tutorial. Bye and thank you so much for watching.